Hi everyone, this is Menz here, and we're going to be playing the KV-5 here on Malinovka. Now, this is a voiceover of a replay, uh, since I wasn't recording at the time, but it was a pretty damn good match. Uh, I ended up doing 4,316 damage, which is fantastic in a KV-5. I do end up spending almost 100,000 credits on ammunition, though, because I use a bit of APCR, and I deflect it 6,305 damage and assist it with almost 2,000. But... Looking at this, there's not a huge artillery presence, so I'm not too worried about that. And I took a look at their team, and there's the prototype that I'm kind of worried about, T-34 and Tiger II, but really just three tanks that I had to worry too much about when I'm pushing uh, down here, so I decided to kind of take the chance. Now, there are quite a few enemies down here uh, at the beginning, and one of them is the prototype, which I was like, oh shit, like this kind of ruins my plan. I'm not exactly worried about any of these guys, especially this guy who decides to get over here, which I guess kudos to him, but it doesn't really do much aside from giving me a decent chunk of damage here. But typically for Malinovka, a lot of people you find complaining about Malinovka because it's not exact. it's an older map, but it's not exactly the most fun map or easiest map to play at times. Uh, you have the field here, which can go hit or miss. A lot of people see it as kind of suicidal, but really I saw I had a lot of backup here since we have so many tank destroyers, and had I went up north here, these guys would have just sat there and most likely did nothing uh, most of the match, aside from if the enemy pushes across and once that happens, it easily is like a chain reaction, and you kind of fall and you lose your base. Now, once this prototype's down at low HP, I'm like, what the hell, I'm going to push across there. There's a KV-5 and a T-34 back here. So, T-34 might be able to damage me, but otherwise, all these guys, I'm not too worried about. Um, Mainly, it's just getting this prototype out, which fortunately worked out pretty well here. I didn't need APCR, but it definitely uh, helped a little bit. Um, now, going in the pushing on this side, it definitely helps to have a lot of frontal armor and a decent amount of side armor. Usually, there's enemies sitting uh, right in the seven line in these three squares, primarily right down here. Um, which I think there's a Super Pershing and an E25 over there. But knowing that, uh, basically you're going to get shot from this section straight on. So I'm angling a bit. I'm a little bit over-angled, but um, the KV-5 fortunately uh, has a lot of armor all around. Artillery, I just got hit there. But unless you're dealing with like a T92 or something, you're pretty safe from artillery if you're on this side. Unless they moved up here, which most SPGs do not do. Um, they mainly sit down in this corner, which basically I draw almost like a 45 degree angle off of this, and you're kind of safe over here, and that's your SPG cover. But really you want to spot by kind of poking out here, and really that's what was my main goal, is just spotting for my team and getting these guys to actually do something. That's where a lot of people complain about Malinovka, is sometimes your team just kind of sits at the base and doesn't accomplish anything. Well, instead of complaining about that, which we do end up winning the hill too, um, basically instead of me going to push over there and these guys just sitting here, and if we lost this side, it's pretty much game over, um, you might as well just push across and kind of use your teammates for spotting damage and also get some damage yourself. I do end up getting a Top Gun award as well. Um, APCR definitely helped me out here, um, which you'll see in a minute. Uh, I have this Yanka Tiger 8.8 .8 pushing on me, which I'm not too concerned about him because if he doesn't use premium rounds, he has a very hard time penetrating me. But this KV-4, I have a feeling just was slugging it up here and then decided to turn around. and Unfortunately, he uh, runs into me here, which... He does get, I think, a couple uh, damaging shots off on me, but really seeing the KV-4, my AP round can barely penetrate him when he's not angled on the side or rear. So I guess I just stuck with that, and using these little windows is 
really much, or uh, basically is one of the more important uh, aspects of this side. Uh, without kind of utilizing the little windows and popping in and out, you're not really going to be able to do damage without taking too much. Um, and I do take that shot there, but basically baiting this guy into because really he's getting hit by quite a few different places there's really not too much he can do he would have been better off uh, positioning back here or positioning over here where that t-34 was however at four kills now and at this point i have low hp but we're so far ahead that i'm not too much worried about if i die so i start being a little bit more aggressive now luckily i get the SPG right at the end here, and that was my sixth kill. Otherwise, I don't get any of the other guys here. Now, even though this is a replay, I do have the end battle screen tacked on at the end. Um, so feel free to look at that. It's it's a doozy. <laughs> Spending, like I said, almost 100,000 uh, credits on ammunition is something I uh, rarely do. But this is one of those matches um, where going into it here I was definitely knowing that I was going to spend quite a bit if I pushed across the field because I wasn't going to sit there just plinking away at people and then getting frustrated if my team didn't kill them. So thanks for watching and hopefully uh, you stick around for the end battle screen because it's pretty awesome. Alright, so I got an Ace Tanker Award here in the KV-5. Uh, along with that, I got a Steel Ball, Cool Headed, High Caliber, and a Top Gun Award. Uh, this was a pretty uh, freaking good match here. Damage-wise, 4,316 along with the 6 kills. Uh, easily um, outpacing anybody, but came out of price. Um, Experience-wise, most as well. Um, outside of that, I deflected 6,305 damage. <laughs> KV-5's armor definitely is great. Um, if people aren't chucking premium rounds out of it, or if they're at long range like they were. And I assisted with almost 2,000 damage. I still ended up making a 26,000 credit profit, since I made a gross uh, profit of 137. However, it almost cost 100,000 credits for that amount of APCR, which... I was expecting, but luckily with the KV-5, as long as you hit almost basically like 75-80% of your APCR shots and they do damage, then you'll make a profit. But in any event, nonetheless, a fantastic match in the KV-5. Uh, in any event, if you like this video, feel free to subscribe. Uh, otherwise, uh, you can support me here on YouTube through fan funding. Upper right hand corner is the Google Wallet, and there's a link to PayPal in the video description below. So thanks for thanks again for watching and hope to see you guys sometime soon.